Hi, my name is Ed Hammerly from NJ Renewable Energy. There are many ways to conserve water. Today we're going to be installing a water harvesting system for my home. Before we start, let's get an understanding as to why we're doing it in the first place. Back in 2007, the state of New Jersey was briefed on the state's water supply status. Here are just a few quotes. This is not a problem we have in the future. This is a problem we have today. We have a gross underinvestment in infrastructure. We have a hundred year old distribution. We've been drunk with water. Where we have been is not going to get us where we are going. And finally, climate change is an added dimension to this demand supply problem. And it's not just New Jersey. By 2013, 36 states anticipate water shortages. It's also a planetary problem too. Even though we have an abundance of water on the planet, only 2.5% of it is fresh water. There's one other thing to remember. Water equals electricity. In California, for instance, water treatment, storage, and transportation accounts for 19% of the entire state's electricity usage. So that's why all of us should be conserving water. But here's why I chose the rainwater hog. First and foremost is performance. If I can't water the plants or wash things, it's really not doing me any good. Lack of water pressure is the rain barrel's Achilles heel. And many have the spigot one third of the way up. Not only does this make the water pressure even worse, but one third of the water is not even accessible. Another major factor was engineering and design. The amount of foresight in this product is far greater than any other water harvesting system I came across. Combine that with other models which are mosquito magnets and you start coming to the realization quickly that there aren't really many good options. One other concern I had was aesthetics. I don't doubt that these work in some way shape or form, but some of them are a little unsightly. Which by the way is perfectly fine if you don't care. So here's the section of the roof that we're going to be collecting the water from. It's about 800 square feet in total. In rough terms, one inch of rain on one square foot of roof will collect 0.52 gallons. Therefore, 0.52 gallons times 800 equals 416 gallons per inch. Since my area of New Jersey gets about 40 inches of rain, just this roof section alone has the collecting potential of over 16,000 gallons per year. Amazingly, if we did all 2,400 square feet, we'd have over 51,000 gallons per year. So what I'm basically showing you today is really a small experiment of what the large potential could possibly be. If we invested in the proper systems, we could provide 100% of this home's water needs. So let's get started. I've opted to set both hogs on concrete blocks. One advantage is that it will even further improve water pressure, and it just makes filling containers easier. Making sure the block is level and plumb will give the rainwater hogs a stable platform. It's equally as important to make sure the wall channels are level and centered for each hog. You'll see it's angled on either side, so when you get it inside the bracket, if you turn it like this, you'll see the rounded edges will make it your life easier. You have to turn it this way. Another nice feature is that the hogs are lightweight, making it easy for one person to maneuver. Although having a little help never hurts. Once the threaded rod is secured, you're ready for the round plate and cap nut. Okay, I need the cap nut. Cap nut, what's the cap? A little cap. This thing? Yep. Basic carpentry skills always apply. Always checking for level and plumb. Once that's done, you're ready to secure the hog. And now we'll lay the groundwork for hog number two. 
We'll take our measurement so that both hogs are at the same height. And now we will repeat the same process. And what's great about the rainwater hogs is no matter what size system we're installing, we can just continue to add hog after hog dependent upon how large a system we want. Each hog holds approximately 51 gallons, so here we'll have 102. Now that the hogs are secure, we'll cut the opening for the water inlet. Next, we'll start building the intake and overflow plumbing. And remove the existing downspout. It's essential that you use Teflon tape on all threaded connections. I'd also strongly recommend the clear primer when preparing the PVC pipe. This will prevent the ugly purple discoloration. Now that the PVC pipe has been glued together, we'll secure it to the hog. And during this process, I installed this inline filter to prevent any debris from entering inside. Another feature not seen on many other water harvesting systems is proper ventilation. This makes water flow out more easily, as well as preventing the container from crushing in on itself. It is imperative that the top portion of the vent be above the lowest portion of the overflow. Otherwise, water will pour out the vent when the system is completely full. Next, I installed the clean out portion of the pipe. And the last piping connection is the hose that connects both hogs together. Now both hogs will be filled simultaneously. I then installed these brackets to secure the pipe to the house. And now that the job is complete, let's see how it works. The pressure you're seeing here is nothing but gravity. And it's strong enough to wash things, water plants, or even connect to a soaker hose. Here I'm able to fill plants at chest level or on an elevated deck. But the best part is I can use water outside on a daily basis without using electricity and I'm not wasting perfectly good drinking water. The fact is Americans are using a substantial amount of drinking water to water plants and lawns. In most states this is completely unnecessary when we have our rooftops. You can also take these water conservation methods inside. In my home, I've changed all shower heads and sink faucets to low gallon per minute flows, drastically reducing the amount of water we consume on a monthly basis. This is my actual water bill for the last year. You'll see for every three months of billing that I've saved anywhere from 4,000 to 8,000 gallons of water. This was accomplished by doing nothing except changing shower heads and aerators. But let's get back as to why I think the rainwater hog is so great and versatile. For one is that they're made out of food grade plastic and are UV resistant so you won't have algae growing inside. And like I said before, no matter how large the job, you can continue to daisy chain them one after the other. Do you have height restrictions? Lay them horizontally. They've been installed under decks, floor spaces, or even in the ceiling. If you really want to go sustainable, add them to a gray water system and filtration system. And provide all of your home or business's water needs. Or you can mount them inside for emergency water storage. But if that wasn't enough, they're even being used in walls and floors for thermal mass. So this is why, after spending months searching the internet, I chose the Rainwater Hog. There is nothing that comes close. 
So join me and stop using drinking water and take care of your lawn and garden. Such a love.